At Kencraft Candy, canes start their lives as 60 pounds of corn syrup, 70 pounds of sugar, and one and a half gallons of water simmering in a vacuum cooker. Flavors like peppermint, cranberry, or hot chocolate are quickly folded in by hand. Next, the cooks throw the batch into the puller. After several minutes of stretching and folding, the syrupy glob turns white and is the texture of a hot marshmallow. Cooks arrange sticky strips of warm colored candy into striped patterns. They shape the white candy into a log and stick the stripes to its sides. Then, the enormous block of candy is plopped into the batch roller and travels through a series of sizing wheels that reduce it to edible dimensions. A trip through the twist belt twirls the stripes around the white cane. Left intact, the candy rope would stretch 1,500 feet, but a cutting wheel chops it into 11-inch sticks, perfect for shrink wrapping. Kencraft bends all of its candy canes by hand using cane-shaped molds. It takes about one hour to turn a 115-pound batch into 1,600 candy canes. Employees like head cook Tyson Blanco taste a cane from each batch to make sure the flavor, color, and texture meet Kencraft standards. At the height of the pre-Christmas season, the Kencraft factory churns out 16,000 candy canes per day.